time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Tuesday, October 10th. Hope everyone's having a good day. Only zero DTE for this guy today was uh, my buddy Uncle Rick this morning, which hit 30% and uh, I was out. Oh, no, that's not true. I did I did some discretionary puts. I got stopped on I got stopped out on those on that little flush. So here we are for power hour. Looking like a five wide strangle is in order. S&P up 29, NASDAQ up 104, Russell the strongest up 26, Dow up 163, gold and silver a little bit green, notes and bonds mixed, oil off about a half percent, natty gas up about a half percent, grains a little mixed, euro and the pound a little green. Bitcoin, 27,000, and VIX, down about 5%, hovering just under 17. I'm going to buy some longs here. for. Oh, we are on a short squeeze, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right, so I'm doing two to one. All right, got my longs in place. Yeah, it looks like the 65, 60s. Give it a couple of minutes. Oh, that's, yeah, I've got to move it 0.55% right now. It's kind of hovering above the expected move for the day. Let's see if we are going to uh, stay above that. Now I'm seeing less than uh, 0.5% as we're coming down. Got a got about a minute here. <clears throat> Let's see what this does. Mario, you're going one to one because it it makes a big difference. I haven't checked the back test. Yeah, we're going. Uh, we're definitely under now. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll go one to one as well. We're going to get 10 wide here. Looks like 10 wide. Tranche one, 10 wide, 10 lot. I'm trying to get filled at 655. Well, oh. premiums dropped quick on me.
And I got filled at 625. Yeah, I don't like that. But I'm in. All right, so I have a low premium tranche one, but is what it is. I got in the 65 and 55. It kind of moved right before I entered. So if you got in right after the five till, you're probably five wide. Got ourselves a little sell off here. Just giving back over, over half the gains on the day. And an SPX high of day at 43.85, back to 43.57. How's that treating the old uh, double calendars here? Let's see. SPX one still down. My NDX single calendars, eh, pretty pretty break even. However, my one, two is up 400, 500 bucks from this morning. My one, three is up about 180. I did those with CPI and PPI coming up. I did those a little bit bigger today. So I'm going to shed some of it uh, towards the end of today. Going into CPI tomorrow morning, pre-market. And what else did I do? I did some uh, time fly adjusting. which with this little uh, pullback, yeah, that still needed to be adjusted, that one did. The other one. Let's open that one a little bit. Took off a QQQ duck for beak profit. I saw some of you guys took off your SPX one. I was looking at that as well. Let's see where we're at now. Yeah, it's right on the edge. I'll leave it for now. Got a rut duck that expires at the end of this week. Got a uh, got a chance at a duck head if it comes down a little bit. That oil premium is staying bid. Our VXX verticals came in nicely with the vol contraction. So on the November one, if we get the VXX gets down to about, call it below 21 and a half bucks, we should hit our profit target on that one. On the October one, it needs to get down to about, well, about the same. So VXX gets under 21 and a half. We'll be, I'll start to 
peel some of those off. So one of the FOMC members speaking today, is that what happened? Kashkari say something stupid? No, he speaks it. He just started speaking. Remember Waller spoke at noon? Yep, that looks like what did it. Right at noon, Central. Oh, Bostic? I have mem uh, Waller on my calendar. Same guy. I can't tell the difference. They look alike. Just out testing the waters, seeing what the market does based on different things they say. Who knows? Could have been just a little profit taking as well. We always want to think that there's a reason for a little price movement, but there's not always. Oh, yeah, it's planned. No doubt. All right, Bostic, you say this. Waller, you say this. Kashkari, you say this. Let's see how the public and the markets react. That way, when we go to do our meeting, we know exactly what we need to say. See what else we got going on here. <laughs> yeah. Then they get on uh, uh what's that betting site where you can bet on economic things. Wouldn't doubt it. Oh, yeah, predict it. Predictit.org. You can, uh, I think you can bet on politics and economic stuff.
Oh, Dick K, are you on here? I was gonna um I was gonna look at your I was gonna compare your, that tranche one you sent me to mine. I haven't had a chance today, so I figured I'd do it during power hour. If you're down with that. Yeah, getting some nice decay here so far. Dick K, calling Dick K. No decay today. He's in here. I see him in Zoom. You must have me on mute. <laughs> Share the meme. Post the Dick K meme. All right, maybe we'll do it after tranche three. Yeah, he, he may need your accounting services for that, Uga. Too many ones to carry and zeros to zero. Too many zeros and commas and ones to carry. And yeah, he's going to need your help. Yeah, so we're still hovering we're at 0.49% now. I don't, I only do it on tranche one, but. Martha, this is after tranche two, it looks like. Let's see what you got. Move up half percent. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Stop six. Drop to three. Solid. I like it. I'm going to put that in my coffer for next month. Two short squeeze. Marthinus style. Cool. Thanks for sharing. Got that on my next month to-do list.
Got in at 625. Let me check your math, Krish, since, you know, like I said yesterday, I can't really trust you. 3.75, see? I knew I had to check on you. My uh, missing the stop reduction <laughs> yesterday helped me, though. Thank goodness I didn't believe you yesterday, Chris. It's always good to be lucky sometimes, you know? Sometimes we get unlucky slippage, unlucky things happen. So, you know, you got to you got to take advantage of the luck on your side sometimes, too. That is the only reason I didn't get stopped. Yes, it is. Because I did not reduce my stop. Because I was yapping away and didn't see it hit the uh, hit the level. And then Chris told me that it did, but I didn't believe him. So thanks to you, Chris. That's my biggest power hour ever yesterday. So tranche one is down to 440, I'm looking for 375. Almost time for tranche two. Oh, look how close these calls are, the five cent calls. Getting close to price. Let's see, I already bought some extra puts here. So we got 20 puts. So I just, so I got 10, so I got 10 puts. I just need six. A lot of blackout dates. All right, I've, I better note that. So basically, Martha, Ennis, you went through it. And anytime there was a losing trade, you just added that as a blackout date. Is that what happened? <laughs> I thought that looked pretty good for tranche two short squeeze. I've looked at that before. That, that one looked really good. All right. So we're looking at uh, 65, 60s. Tranche two, five wide. 595. Build at 595. 65-60s. So I'll look for 360 on tranche two to reduce stop. Yeah, still looks good.
Vegas Michelle. Vegas Michelle, how's the uh, football betting going this year? Nobody wants to talk to me today. Vegas Michelle shunning me. Dick K shunning me. Oh, Dick's back. All right. He just had me on mute for a while. <laughs> I am. I'm very sensitive, Dick. You know that. I was just saying I uh I haven't had a chance to look at that tranche one in detail yet, but I was gonna do it here after we get done with uh tranche three. Yeah, it looked solid of just the brief minute that I had to look at it. Well, I'm I'm kind of a slow, I'm kind of slow tomorrow. Tranche one is down to three eighty. Getting close. I'm looking for three seventy five. Currently at three ninety five, four. Uh, MRP says three point seven. I don't. I don't believe him. I don't believe that MRP. Kirsch now. Kirsch is agreeing. I definitely don't believe it. Three ninety, three seventy five. Okay, there it is. Reducing stop on tranche one. Tranche two. I'm looking for three sixty, and it's currently trading at five ten. I just, I got to see it with my own eyes. I just got to see it with my own eyes. It's just how I am. Yeah, on tranche two, I got, uh, no, five wide, 65 60s. 10 wide on tranche one, five wide on tranche two. FBX is falling asleep on the expected move line. Let's just ride that into the close. Launch number three. 
find some longs. Looking like maybe 10 wide. Sixty-five, fifty-fives. Got a couple minutes. Now we're looking like five wide, 65 sixties. Give it another, another minute. Could be the 65 55s. All right, sixty five fifty fives. Tranche three ten wide. Trying to get filled at three ten. Got one contract filled at 315. And the rest filled at 310. 65, 55s. Thursday is the new Wednesday, Dick. You didn't know that? You didn't hear? Thursday is going to make a comeback. All right, so tranche two is at 440. I need 360. Yeah, so Dark Avenger, you may want to um, 
I was talking to chatting with somebody the uh, yesterday, and they they're using XSP, and they are uh, claiming that the fills are not not paper trade, but actually trading XSP real, which is obviously a tenth the size of SPX. Good thing to practice with. But they were saying at the end of the day, the liquidity is pretty good. She also said she was not using stops, though. She was just manually monitoring and closing. So that uh, I don't know how the stops would be on XSP. I can't imagine good. So for tranche two, who who's in the forty three sixties and sixty fives for tranche two that can uh, notify me if that gets down to three sixty? Anyone but Krish. <laughs> All right, can you let me know when that gets down to three sixty? I want to. Uh... I want to check out this tranche one that Dick K sent me. Okay, so a couple things that I did, Dick. I, I added Thursday back in because I love Thursdays. I What else did I do? I think that's it. So if I go to mine. All right, so... Sure, I got everything kind of apples to apples here. Starting capital is the same. 10 contracts. Okay, so. Yeah, I remember the win rate was quite a bit higher. So it's 69% win rate versus 57. My Mars 23 versus 24. Drawdown minus 5 versus minus 5. So about the same. P&L, about the same. But the big thing is you're getting out of a third of your position at 40%. So you're taking a bunch of risk off the table. To me, that's the win rate and taking those chips off the table like that, that and still beating the other one, that's... That's attractive to me. Risk off, exactly. I didn't check the blackout dates. Is that just um, FOMC? So if we take out Thursday, so we got 69%, 24 minus 5. 69, 24 minus 5. We got 70, 20 minus 5.7. No, sir. Thursday stays. I love Thursdays. Thursdays, it's got a bad reputation, but it's 
a good guy. It's, you know, it's a good guy. More profit, more mar, less drawdown. I mean, what's there not to love about Thursday on this one? Add that to my... month's cheap. For Sharon Dickay. Trump's two trading at three ninety. I need three sixty. If I do the opposite, if I take away everything except for Thursday. Oh, that that's the other. I knew I I knew I changed something else. I, I'm looking at it for um, going back to May second. I still look at them going back to that date. That's the difference. I definitely pay attention to <clears throat> year to date, but I always I still use May. That's that's it. Okay, 390. 385. I'm looking for 360. I'm a big fan of Three seventy five. Three eighty. Three seventy five. Pretty well centered here for tranche two, but not quite getting it. <clears throat> you know, tiny push up. The Germanic God of Thunder. All right.
Thursday's powerful. There's no doubt. Three seventy, three sixty five. I'm going to close um, here pretty soon. I'm going to close. I'm going to close seven of 10 on my one, two, and I'm going to close three of five on my uh, one, three. I just want to have a small position and going into CPI tomorrow. Still haven't quite got to 360 yet. Need a little two-point bounce. Now that's going to take a few days to work itself out, I think, Morrow. I'm planning to stay into that one till Monday if assuming we are in decent range and I don't have to close for to manage risk. All right, I saw 365. There we go. Reducing stop on tranche two. There's that little two point bounce. All right. So between 60 and 65. Twenty one minutes to go. Anytime we can be in between POC and VWAP, you know we're in good shape. We'll see where we are here in about 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna to try to close some of my uh, B and B's. No fill at twelve dollars. No 
Phil at 1195. Got filled at eleven ninety And one three, I'm going to close three of five. Try to get filled at 18 20. No, fill at eighteen ten. Oh, filled at eighteen ten. All right, just posted those exits in the calendar channel. I did spend about three hours doing some calendar back testing last night. I've got a few little tweaks, nothing major, just a few little tweaks for next month. Uh, it's, it's more doing, I found. I just found a little bit of value doing not necessarily just doing 20 Delta or 25, you know, some doing like 15 Delta on the call side, 20 on the puts. Some as much as like 15 on one side, 25 on the other. Um, and then um, trying to remember. Start trading more two fours. Uh, three four. Look, I was looking at a ratio on a three four doing like four to three, four, three puts to four calls on Mondays. Added a one four. Yeah, that that is interesting, Nick. I, you know what, I I uh I may dig into that as well. I, you know, for all my zero DTE now, pretty much except for the DKS, I've kind of switched over to fixed premiums, but I'm still deltas on uh calendars. But what do you got here? So this is the mini B and B one three. Monday, Tuesday, twenty oh twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah. 
versus the so starting capital 100 two contracts per trade Yeah, definitely a nice improvement. Open trades at 3 p.m. versus I'm opening them at noon. I'm closing them at the open the next morning. So are you. You have a stop loss, which I don't know if that's really relevant since you're just holding overnight and closing in the morning. But... Um, I like it. I'm going to note that. I got a lot of homework to do. You guys are giving me a lot of stuff to do today. All right, good deal. A lot of good stuff going on today. But you don't actually put on a stop loss overnight on calendars, do you, Nick? I would I would highly suggest not to do that. Gotcha. It just makes you feel more comfortable. Just makes you just comfort to you on the back test. Ten minutes to go. Yeah, I'm not a fan of using a stop on any kind of option trade overnight. Man, this thing's just uh, sleeping on that upper expected move here. The last going all the way back until 10 afternoon. No wakey wakey.
So the API only gives SPX on delayed data? Hmm. Yeah, that can't be good. Tranche three is down below a buck. Tranche one is down below a buck. I have my order at uh, 60 cents. I'm going to leave it Just hugging my lower strike. Oh, no, that's 55. I'm going to take that one to the bell. Let's put that at 10 cents. Tranche three is the 6555s as well. Let's take that down to 10 cents. Tranche one is trading at two dollars and thirty cents. That's the sixty-five sixties. I may, I may get out of that one. <clears throat> Give it another minute or so. Who woke the dragon? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Dick K. That's green. All right, so tranche one, I'm going to get out of. Build at 325 to exit tranche one. And we get a bounce right afterwards. That's okay. So I got tranche two and three, both at 55, 65. Both of them trading at 45 cents, 50 cents. Got to stay above 55 here, below 65. Nice, Dick K. I'm going to take one of these off. Wait. 
Oh, that was tranche two that I got out of for 325. I thought it was tranche one. Forty cents still. We're about fifty-seven. Two minutes to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of tranche one. About thirty cents. One minute. How's the old heart rate doing today? Filled at 30 cents on tranche one. Seventy-eight. Which one I got in at six twenty five thirty. Wow, I got filled at ten cents. Didn't let me take it to the bell. So I got into tranche three at three ten, so three times fourteen. Was 4,200. All right, so I got 4,200 plus 4,320 plus 5,950 equals 14,470 minus the uh, minus the cost of my five cent longs. Nice. Nice, Elliot. Over 17K. Beautiful. It's awesome. Back to back. Back to back big power hours. Back to back big days overall. Good stuff. All right, my friends. We got uh live stream tomorrow morning. Chad will be doing the morning session on what is tomorrow? October 11th, Wednesday. And then uh, we'll be doing Power Hour. Back here, same bat channel, same bat time. Good night, everyone. Take care.